What's up guys? Now believe it or not, my number one most requested video by far is to do a house tour. So today, I'm gonna finally do it. Let's go. Okay, so first up, it's the studio. Now, this is one of my favorite rooms in the house. I've been building this studio for over a year now. It's still not finished, but it's getting there. Visually, it is really coming along nicely. Now, there's a lot to this room, so I'm probably gonna do a separate video doing a full, comprehensive studio tour. But for this video, I'll still show you a few bits. We've got uh, two monitor screens here, a laptop, we've got a PS5 down there, and an Xbox hidden in there. Again, I'll run you through my full gaming setup in a separate video. So the first cool feature is the TV. It's one of my favorite features because you can literally just press this button here and speak into the thing. YouTube F2 Freestylers. And it literally just comes up, boom. And then you can go on, that's our latest video. We trained with the West Ham first team. Come on. And it loads up and it plays. What's happening? We're at West Ham training ground with Monster Boom. Right, I don't want to get a copyright strike by myself. <laughs> So I'll pause that there. On this wall, we've got these guitars, which I mounted myself. Uh, it took me a while to get it right, but the angle and everything is spot on now. And they're obviously backlit with the Philips Hue lights. You've got the studio here. I literally just bought these online. I think it was Amazon or something. Just bought the individual letters and then placed them next to each other to spell the word studio. Um, you've got the Fender seats, which just give it a really cool look. Over here, we've got the Wall of Fame, where I've built in all of these vinyl records. Now, these are real vinyl records, and the records are still in there. And then I bought this Perspex sheet, and then just put that over the top of it. But you can literally take it out, and you could swap, oh, that's falling out there. You can swap out any vinyl record you want, so it's not permanent. It's literally fully interchangeable. So, let's stick this one in the comments section. If you were to add one killer album to this Wall of Fame, which album would it be? There's a few more under here as well. Oh, that Philips Hue light's gone off. Why has that gone off? There we go. Yeah, so you can see, I've still got to do a bit more cable management, but I'm going to do that. It's getting there. You can see Stormzy's under here. We've got Oasis, Marvin Gaye. Come under here. I'm on the floor now. We've got Ed Sheeran as well. Lauren Hill and Jim Marroquai. But yeah, if you could add one killer album to this collection, which album would it be? I can't wait to see what you guys suggest. In fact, whatever one's the most popular in the comment section below, I'm gonna actually buy it and fit it into the wall, just for you guys. So yeah, let the comments comment. Uh, what else? Oh, this is, how could I almost forget this? This is a real limited edition, number four of 20. Really cool. And I've got four of these. So I've got one here. This one is Purple Rain. Over here, we've got Queen. The spectrum of colors that comes off of these uh, records is incredible. It's just such a cool feature of the studio. And then finally, Frank Sinatra, Man Like Frank, come on. So yeah, those are the four platinum records that I bought for this studio. What else we got? Um, ah, we got a secret switch over here. So hidden behind here is the secret light switch for the room. So that turns the lights on, switch that, and they go off, on, off. And I can pull this out. You can see. And that's how we created an invisible light switch. These ceiling panels, they absorb sound, so they help with the uh, reflection of sound in the room. So watch this, you'll hear the sound difference from inside the studio versus out. Hello, 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 hello. Testing one, two, hello, hello, hello. Sound check, sound check, sound check, sound check. Testing one, two. Testing one, two, testing one, two, sound check, sound check, sound check. So that really helps with the acoustics of this room because obviously it's not just designed to look nice, it's it's actually a fully functional studio, which we'll get onto because we've got the keyboards here, we've got the MPC player here. So this is called an MPC X and what this is for is for making beats. In fact, let's make a quick beat right now, let's go. Do you know what? This needs some sort of bars. N to the O to the P to the Q. You never wash your hands when you did a doo doo. You didn't see me, but I saw you. N to the O to the P to the Q. <laughs> now I can almost hear a lot of you thinking to yourselves, why have you got a studio? Are you a musician? Are you a producer? The answer is yes. A lot of people don't know, but I am a musician and a producer. So I'm going to actually play a little something for you because a lot of you probably have never heard me play the piano. So let me play something for you now. I'll put this here. So I've just got up a video on YouTube of Jessie J singing a cappella, which means with no music. So she's going to do the singing, I'll do the playing, and you guys can just listen along. It's a long road If you search within yourself And the emptiness you felt Will disappear yeah. And then a hero comes along with the 
strength to carry on And you cast your fears aside And you know you can survive Cause when you feel like hope is gone Look inside you and be strong And you'll finally see the truth Oh yeah all right, so last cool studio feature before we move on to another part of the house is the Philips Hue light strips. You can literally change them to any color that you like using this color wheel. And they're all synced up as well. So you can have them synced or you can have them unsynced. I've got them synced. So literally whatever color you like and you can also control the brightness which is here. And you can turn them fully off like that. I never see them off. Oh, I don't like it. No, no, getting back on. So that was the studio, I hope you enjoyed that. Let's move on to another room in the house, let's go. So this is the garage. Now this, believe it or not, is one of my favorite rooms in the house uh, because I know what I'm gonna do with it. I have got this, uh, uh, this vision for what I'm gonna do with this garage and it's gonna be incredible. It's already in the works to do a madness with this garage, but I'll show you it in its current state. We've got lots of boxes. We've obviously got two vehicles in here. Um, there's a lot of junk, I'm going to be honest, there's a lot of junk in here at the moment, but not for long. I'm going to clear this out. I've just ordered a shed, which is going to arrive in a few weeks, and then a lot of this sort of storage stuff is going to get moved into the shed. But this is the garage. It's kind of a bit of a dumping ground at the moment uh, for just like boxes. That, to be fair, that's recycling, that's what I'll go. The rest of it, yeah, don't worry. Leave the garage with me. I'm going to do a madness with it and I'm going to document the whole process on my Instagram stories as well. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you are because trust me, next level. It, it, I get excited thinking about it. Right, let's move on to another part of the house. So this is the hallway. This is one of my favorite parts of the house just because of the space. I do a lot of my filming in this hallway. There's a lot of light that comes in. And yeah, when we first bought the house, this was one of the things that attracted us to the house. It's the space as soon as you come in. So this is one of the bathrooms. The house has got quite a few bathrooms, but they all look pretty much the same. Uh, literally got a bath, a toilet, a sink, a shower. All you need in any bathroom. This is the garden. Um, I'm actually going to get AstroTurf put down here so that I can do some training because at the moment it's grass. In fact, it'll be alright through the summer, but through the winter it's just got, it would just get really sloshy if I did my training on it. So don't actually get to use the garden through the winter and I want to be able to use it all year round for training. But yeah, this is the garden. Um, we've got this, oh we got this, this is a cool thing. I think the gas has run out, but this fire feature, I love it. Let me see if I can get it working. Nope. Yeah, I need to get any gas kind of stuff for that. And then you've got the patio, which tubes always comments on the patio. If I do skills in the garden and put like a video up on Instagram, tubes always comment saying, I love your patio. <laughs> so yeah, maybe uh, when I move on to the next house, tubes, you can buy the house, take the patio, boom. So this is the kitchen slash sort of snug communal area for just guests and stuff chilling. Again, uh, the space was part of the reason why I got, got it. I do like have space got ovens here microwave coffee machine which i still don't know how to use this i really want to learn because apparently they do amazing coffee in fact i'm going to probably do that after i film this video because i need to know um what else we got got a wine fridge here uh fridges and freezers here fridge um i should say as well that if you're thinking the house looks a little bit bare there's a reason for that and it's locked down the covid stuff really got in the way of us um, sort of going out and shopping for house bits so that's why we're still working on the interior decor but it will come there's no rush so this is the walk-in wardrobe that me and Shauna built ourselves we just got the bits from Ikea and just literally put them together so if you're looking to make your own walk-in wardrobe that is actually what we'd recommend it's much cheaper and you can just buy the bits that you need and just put them together yourself this is most of my shoes and trainers it's really sparse and that's because I don't actually have that many pairs of trainers and shoes um, to be honest I need to I need to give my collection a little bit of love, but I mean, it's more than enough. So yeah, I'm not really um, that extravagant when it comes to footwear. Got some hats up here, Kermit up here. I don't know what he's doing up here. He's not really meant to be. Oh, hey guys, I'm Kermit the Frog. What he didn't know is Kermit is actually low key, a road man, but he just puts on his voice for Sesame Street. Watch this. Just talk how you normally talk. Who's this? Who, who, who's this? Who's watching? Who's watching this? A big man trying to bait me up, trying to take food off my table. Yeah, so that's Kermit. He's like, 
got anger issues. And this is my wardrobe. Uh, there's a few other bits in some other drawers, but this is the stuff that I wear the most. It's 95% rascal. So this is another room in the house. This is the room that we probably use the least. We set it up as a filming room. We sort of started putting it together. We just end up never coming in here to film. But, um, yeah, the room's here. We could make, might set it up as like a podcast room or something. So this is one of the spare bedrooms and you can see in the corner here. I've just been filming the Toy Story Part 2 uh, TikTok. So you can see <laughs> I've used baby powder so that if they move, it will leave footprints. Don't trust these two, you know. Don't trust these two. Bear sus these two, you know. I still question it to this day. Are they on the move when we leave the room? Who knows, they're hard to catch, but I'm not gonna give up, don't worry, part three coming soon. This room's also where I keep a lot of my props and stuff for videos, so, um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot, that's just one, there's, there's, there's loads. Um, the latest addition is this. This Wakanda mask, this is so cool. This is fully wearable, the fit is unbelievable. I've got some banging ideas for content with this, but it's just, this is one of my favorite new additions to the uh, costume collection. There's all sorts in here. Look at this, this is a slinky. I haven't even taken this out of the pack yet. Remember slinkies? In fact, let me do that now. Chew it to pieces. Look at him, he's thinking, mm. why are you taking my food? <laughs> Got my eyes on both of you. Yeah. They're probably fuming at me for making it difficult, but come on, we gotta know. We gotta know if it's true or not. <laughs> this is the gym which we put together uh, at the start of last year. Uh, we've got this sort of multi purpose machine, uh, bench press, bike and a treadmill. This is where I get my workouts in. It's nice because I don't have to leave the house. Basically leaves me no excuse to not be in shape. And then there's more gym through here, just an extension. There's some dumbbells, some more dumbbells and other bits. We've also got another bathroom in here. Shower, bath, sink, toilet. It's nice to have a bathroom next to the gym because you can have your workout and if you want, you can just go and have a shower literally next door. This is the dining room with the dining room table. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, there's more storage stuff in this room because the shed needs to come, honestly. Look, look, look who's just stood here. <laughs> Santa and his helpers in the dining room. This is, this is not how it's supposed to be. But we've got this stuff just sitting here waiting for the shed to arrive and then Santa and his mates can basically do one to the shed. So until then, Santa stays. And then we've got the office. This is a room where I spend a lot of time working, obviously. Videos don't just magic themselves. As soon as you film them, you have to actually edit them, which takes time. We've got canvas here, which the missus really doesn't like. <laughs> got it just for a bit of colour for now. But we need to do this room up. Um, yeah, and you've got like secret little compartments in here as well, which is pretty cool. I've got some ideas for these little secret compartments in the house as well. Could make some really cool bespoke rooms that just like, like hidden rooms. But yeah, that's for another day. You can see here, we've got oh, the 100 Cristiano Ronaldo cutouts that I made to create that video, which was really time consuming. Ronaldo! Oh! What Cutting out Cristiano Ronaldo's body 100 times was, it took me four days, man. But it was worth it, the video is amazing. This is really cool, this is a sphere. It's capturing a 360 panoramic of whatever environment you're in. Love it, I love stuff like this. This is the cinema room. A lot of you guys already know about this from the video that I made showing the whole process of building a cinema room in my house from scratch. Love this room, spend a lot of time in here. Um, sometimes even just fall asleep under the starlights. Definitely one of my favorite rooms in the house. It's out of this and the studio, it's 50-50. It's, it's hard to choose between them, but yeah, I love this room. I get a lot of people asking, who made the cinema room? Airwave AV. I'll put a link in the description. Airwave AV, if you ever want a cinema room, Airwave AV is the place to go. Trust me, Dan the governor, he just makes it happen. One cool thing I want to show you in this room, these light boxes are fully interchangeable. So at the moment we've got Titanic, Django, and Forrest Gump. Let's swap one of them out. So here is a box full of different canvases. So if I pull this out, 
I should have folded that belt, but it doesn't matter, they stretch out. Snatch there. Let's pick out another one at random. Ooh! Shawshank Redemption! What a film, by the way. Good fellas. Ah, oh, the Green Mile. Great film. I'm waiting for one to jump out at me. Don't worry about the creases either. Oh, Toy Story! I'm just pulling out a batch here and we'll just see what we've got. Come on, jump out at me. We've got Monsters Inc, we've got E.T. Last Samurai. Ooh. I get excited with this stuff. <laughs> I'm giving things away here. This is a Minecraft one. This is for when we do a gaming setup in here. Three games are going to get the call up to go on the light boxes, and Minecraft is a contender to be one of them. I mean, there's other options. It's got some competition, but we'll see. That's for another day, another video. Don't worry, but don't miss it when it comes because it's going to be sick. All right, let's actually pick one now. I'm going deep into the box. Ah, oh, the Revenant. You know what? The Revenant's getting the nod. The Revenant's going back up. One out, and then you put the other one in. I'm getting pretty fast, though, to be fair. That was a quick one. Come on, look at that. <laughs> in and out, boom, and you're done. Stick that onto the bottom there. Just hang I'm noticing a theme here. What? So you've got Leonardo DiCaprio there, yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio there. Leonardo DiCaprio there. I love Leonardo DiCaprio. I've got options though, babe. Look. So are you changing out Forrest Gump as well in Titanic? Oh, or? Come out. I think Titanic can go. What we got? What we got? Oh! Scarface, Interstellar. Ah, oh, Endgame. No. Matrix. Matrix is going up there. Sorry, Kate. Have you ever watched Titanic the whole way through? Yes, darling. Of course I have. When? When I was younger. When it first came out, it was all the rage. There we go. So that's done. Matrix is up. Titanic is down. The cinema room has just gone up in swag. So it's literally that easy to just swap out different canvases, and put them on the light boxes. Yeah, um, love this room. Uh, again, a lot of you guys already knew about this room, but I thought I'd show you something a little bit different by getting out some of the canvases. There's, there's loads more in this box as well and I'm gonna order some more. And in future videos, I'm gonna be setting up different themes. For me, it's between the cinema room and the studio for the coolest room in the house award. The garage is also gonna be a proper contender. If not, it might, bl it might blow these two out of the water. I mean, the vision that I've got for it, and I'll keep banging on about it because I can see how it's it's gonna be crazy. So yeah, that's the cinema room. Hope you enjoyed this house tour. Again, it's been my most requested video ever. So I finally thought, do you know what? Let's just do a house tour and show the people what they wanna see. So hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe. And as always, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.